Hey there, it's Dan Wardrobe here from Flexible and today I want to talk to you about um, the correlation between aesthetics and um, how they, uh, how it's so important when you're designing your, your lead gen funnels. All right, so for those of you who don't know what we do, where I run a paper lead agency um, in the south of England, but I also have a, a program where we teach people how to build a paper lead agency. There'll be a link below this video, um, which will give a, fr a free case study away on how to do that. Um, and also if you want to hear more about the paper lead industry and, and um, tips and tricks, all that type of stuff, then there'll be a subscribe now button or a bell or whatever on YouTube for you to click and follow us. Um, so it is important, right? So if let's say you're, you're generating, let, let, let's say you're spending $10,000 a month on a, f a funnel, okay? And those leads, um, uh, this is a funnel that paid traffic is being pointed to. Okay, you're spending ten thousand dollars a month on on paid ads. All right, they're pointing to this funnel, which is generating leads. And as a rule of thumb, um, you're looking at a five percent click to lead ratio, which means for ten thousand dollars worth worth of spend, you are generating five hundred leads. Which I don't know. I guess is like twenty bucks a lead, something like that, right? So, the difference between getting the cost down to $15 per lead um, and keeping it at 20 could be a significant amount of money for you or extra money in your pocket each month, okay? That $5 saving. So when I'm teaching my students, they're, they're always interested in, in bringing that cost down and saving that $5, all right? And this is important because it adds to, you know, fattens the wallet and makes more money for the agency that's, that's uh, delivering the leads. But a lot of times, and you know, we, we've made this mistake in our own agency as well, is that we don't focus enough on the aesthetics. So the questions in the funnel, the surveys, the headline, the copy, all of that is very important, right? But we forget that some people are skeptical these days, all right? They are, they are hitting lead gen funnels. And if there's not a really good um, understanding of Sorry, not understanding, but if there's there's not a really good trust factor in these in these funnels, i.e., the the way that the graphics pop, the way that there's um, segmentation between each of the the different parts of the funnel or the different sections of the funnel, if there's not beautiful looking font and colors that match, and you know all of this stuff that I you know I'm hopeless at, um, but a lot of uh, you know graphic designers and people with a good eye for detail are good at, then you then this can make a difference as well as everything else that you know I've, I've spoken about before, the copy and the segmentation and the survey funnels and the hooks and all that type of stuff. And you know, I'm rambling a little bit, but my point is that if you, are an, if you are running traffic to funnels and spending that type of money, you need to invest in a UX person to be able to make sure that the pages just pop and they're, they're very trustworthy because there's gonna be people that are skeptical. They're gonna come through your funnel and they see funny font everywhere that doesn't match up and isn't spaced properly they're gonna go what this this is just rubbish you know the, this isn't a trustworthy funnel so um please do take the time if you're spending if you're you know generating volume and you're spending a lot on on paid traffic to invest in a ux person to make these pages pop it's a no-brainer okay that's my tip for today i hope you enjoyed it speak soon